Hey guys, Spencer here, and welcome back. Today we've got a bunch of Astro Radiance packs to open. Uh, there should be 36 total here. I just laid them all out just to uh, take a quick photo for the thumbnail. Um, so yeah, I'll pile these back up and, and get started Open, opening up some packs. Okay, so these are all from a uh, sealed product, not a booster box. So, like I've said in previous videos, there uh, is no pull rate consistency, but it seems to be a good average um, from all the previous videos that I've opened and I kept the or counted the uh, average pull rates it does come out to about one in three packs uh, some times it's a lot less in one uh, set of 36 packs and then uh, on other videos there's actually uh, more so the average is about 12 now okay so let's get into it try to get through these uh, as fast as i can oh man i'm having so much trouble with this one pack why is it so hard to open uh so from astro radiance the two main cards that everybody um wants to try to collect is the Full art alternate art mod champ V, and um, that's from the main set. And then there's the trainer gallery set, um, which has the Starmie V. I haven't pulled either of those yet on video. I think I've only gotten the Starmie V um, that I've pulled before I started recording any of this stuff. Okay, here's Ralts. And add them in. Okay. That's our hollow rare. And then I'll put all the reverse hollows here. And then if I get any hits, which I should get some, I'll have it right here on the side for you guys to see. And like I do in most of my videos, at the end, I'll go over what hits we've gotten and um, see if it actually is on average one in three packs. Oshawata's Reverse Hollow and Cleaver. Okay. These are Hollow Rare. So, anybody um, have a master set of this yet? This came out when? Um, two years ago? Three years ago? Okay, because last year it was all the new era, Scarlet and Violet. What were the last couple of sets from Sword and Shield? I, I just know Crown Zenith was the last one, but that one was a specialty set. Okay, Hisoian Basculin. Shielding and Absol. Oh. So, wow, three hollow rares out of three packs. They're not really a hit, but they are considered um, a hit in a booster pack. Okay, so we got Pseudo Wudo, Magnemite. Routes, Sneasel, Mischievous, Glamio as a reverse, and our first hit for today is a Werdeer V. Huh, is only one eye hollow? No, I think it's my lighting. Um, both eyes are hollow, but my desk lamp is only showing the reflection off of one eye. So how is everybody doing? 
We're already several weeks into the new year. Uh, I am going to be opening up more packs. Like I've stated in previous videos, I've got a lot of inventory that I've been saving up since who knows how long. It's been a year, two years, and I haven't had time to... Oh, what do we have here? Luxray. This is the same one we just pulled uh, from the last Astro Radiance video. Cool. Um, yeah, what were we saying? What were we saying earlier? We were uh, saying that I was what opening up, trying to catch up and open up a ton of packs. I've been saving up since. 2021, 2022-ish. Oh, geez. Why is this pack so hard to open? Okay. So we got Scyther, Eevee, Heracross, Mantine, Hisuian Quillfish, Basto Bastiodon, Bastiodon, and another Cleaver, Hollow Rare. So I do try to sleeve up uh, all the hollow rares and ultra rares and up. Um, I do sleeve reverse hollows too since they are holographic. Because uh, I do sell all these cards or try to sell all of them on TCG player. And uh, keeping them sleeved up keeps them in really good condition. Uh, I myself, I don't like um, buying cards and then when I receive them, there's a ton of scratches on it. Okay, it's my Deanna. Okay, so, oh, well, this is our first non hollow rare. Well, um, <clears throat> let's see, yeah, after this video, I actually will uh, sleeve up all of these cards individually. Okay, Chatot, Psyduck, Drifloon, Pseudowoodo, Magnemite, Hisuian Quillfish, and Hisuian Overquill. Okay, it's our Hollow Rare. Okay. And our next pack. Combi, Chatot, Drifloon, Eevee, Heracross, Cricketune as our reverse hollow, and Rapidash, our non hollow rare. Okay, and let's see what we got here. Okay, Yanma, Sweenub, Nicket, Petalil. Bergmite, Perugly, and Reggie Gigas Hollow Rare. Okay. Uh, so, are you guys pre ordering or have you guys ordered um, Paldean Fates? Um, I am planning to just buy a bunch of the tins. Um, I think maybe the ETBs might be a little cheaper per pack, but the tins, well, the one tin I'm actually just buying is the Charizard tin. Oh, Togepi. Um, ooh, here we go. Hisuian Samurai. This is the alt art, full art, alt art. Um, I'm hoping that the Charizard promo from the tin actually holds some value. Uh, it's, I mean, if it's the same as how Hidden Fates had their Charizard tin, the, that promo did keep, uh, a little bit of value. Um, I think... It started off at over $5 a card when Hidden Fates first came out. And then I know it dropped down to like 2 or $3. 
And then right now the value is, I think it's at around $5 a, a card now. And it's staying there. Okay, wait and see Turbo Thievul. It is a regular non-hollow rare. Uh, I did grade a ton of those, um, but I sold them all during the pandemic. Uh, they were what five to seven dollar promo cards, um, and after you graded them, uh, since it was Charizard and uh, there is that Charizard tax, <laughs> they were selling between forty and sixty dollars. If you're to get them in PSA 10s. But this was in 20, 2020? 2021? Okay. Wait and see Turbo again. Wow. And Reggie Rockman. Hollow Rare. So, yeah, I was trying to buy as many as the, of those tins as I could. And basically for the promo card. And of course to open the packs. Okay, Barboach, Ponyard, Obama Snow, Obama Snow, and Registeel. Okay, here we go. That's another hit. We've opened how many? Four, nine packs? No. I don't even know how many. So this, uh, I think, is our ninth pack. So we open eight. Okay, there's Chatot, Drifloon, Psyduck, Pseudowoodo, Magnemite. What the heck? Another Obama Snow. Huh. Well, these packs are all uh, from sealed product, not a booster box. So there is a really good chance of repeats. Yeah, I know one of the my previous videos, uh, I think I was opening Brilliant Stars. In 36 packs that I opened, I think I pulled like four rare cliff fairies. That was really interesting to open. Because two of them, I think, were like back to back. And then another one had a regular Clefairy and a reverse hollow Clefairy in the same pack. Okay, and we got Red Ice. All right. Uh, does anybody send any of their cards to PSA or Beckett or CGC or any of the others? Um, I uh, prefer PSA. It's a little easier to do submissions with them. Um, well, I only submit to PSA right now. I've only ever submitted to Beckett once and that was a little difficult and frustrating this was before they even had a online system okay memo swine um yeah so i w remember when i tried to uh go onto their website to um do a submission i thought that they were the same as PSA where their whole system was digital pretty much um, but no at the time this was end of 2019 or beginning of 2020 and uh, you had to actually print out a sheet and then write in all the information of each individual card um, the year the set it was from, the card name, the card number, but their um, their 
form was meant for sports. So when it would say like the, was it the athlete's name, I guess? It would be like the name, um, what um, sport set it's from, and what sport did they play. That was like on the form. And I had to write down Pokemon as, I guess, the team. And then the, the athlete or character was Charizard. And I had to write down, like, a, what was it? Ultra Rare or something like that. It was the from Hidden Fates. So it was a shiny Charizard Ultra Rare GX. And I had to handwrite it in by hand, so I have no idea... Um, if I filled it out correctly and then I just put it in a box and I just shipped it to, uh, Beckett and I didn't even remember about sending it in. Okay. Hisuian Sneasler and Reggie Rock. And then after, I don't know how many months, um, I was doing PSA opening videos. So another box came in. Uh, and I assumed it was from PSA, so I opened it on video, and right as I opened it, I noticed the casing for the card was different. I was like, did they change uh, the PSA case to, I guess, a different style? And then as I slowly pulled it out of the box, it was actually from Beckett, and it was, I submitted three uh, shiny Charizards over there, and they were three of my better centered Charizards. So two of them came back as Beckett 10s, so I had a gold label. And then the last one I pulled out, and it was a black labeled shiny Charizard number 49 from Hidden Fates, the shiny set. And that, I was so blown away at that. Um, when I uh, got mine back, I think I checked the pop report. And I think mine was like the 10th black label that they had graded at that time. Okay, Glaceon. Darkrai V, nice. Yeah, and I was so blown away. I went online. I started uh, posting photos on Instagram and Facebook groups. And it's like, wow. I never thought I would ever get one. A black label card. Let alone a Charizard. Um, but a couple years later, I think it was like a year, two years later, like... I had to sell it. Um, um, bills were catching up. Uh, this was like during the pandemic. So. Uh, okay. Origin form Palkia V. Yeah. During the pandemic. My income wasn't as high as I needed. And the value. Like the value of the card was there. So I had to, uh, I had it available for sale. So I did end up selling it for, I think at the time, the black label was probably over $3,000 for it. I know the first one that actually was put on eBay for auction, um, since it was the chase card of the set and it was the first black label, um, it sold for $10,000 on auction. Okay, Stevel and Irida. And actually knew the guy, not in person, but he was in um, some of the Facebook groups, Pokemon Facebook groups that I was in too. Yeah. And it actually... It spread like wildfire, the news. And I think that actually encouraged a lot more people to get into Pokemon 
and open so many hidden fates packs. So in Voltorb, Heracross, and Cleaver, another one. And yeah, I was able to easily flip any hidden fates. If you can find it in store, um, you can double it overnight easily. Um, like, I didn't want to do that. I actually wanted to open packs, but then to be able to sell it for double if and then be able to actually go and find some more in store, like, literally the next day, um, that's what I had to do. Okay, Hisuian Decidui and Mighty Yenna. Yeah, there was, <laughs> there was one instance, um... Someone messaged me, I had uh, a couple of the tins available for Hidden Fates, and uh, I think I had three. So the tins themselves were about $20 if you could find them in store, um, but people were chasing that Charizard. Uh, I was selling them for like $35 or $40 each. And so I met up a guy at a Target outside in the parking lot and actually uh, sold it to him. And just, I just gave him the three tens. He gave me like $110, $120. And then that was the end of the transaction. It was really quick. So I decided to just go into Target for fun just as a see if there was any inventory but i was expecting it to uh someone to have already bought all of the pokemon products on shelves but i walked in and i saw there was like four uh hidden fates tins there so okay Cillian lilligan v nice so the guy gave me the money and now i had enough to actually buy those tins and Still had some money left over. That was... I wasn't an actual, like, flipper, but that was a funny instance where, like, inventory... Well, there's, like... See that print? Print line right there on the edge. Yeah, I've never experienced that before, but Hidden Fates was a very special set. Hisuian Overquill and Keldeo Hollow Rare. Yeah, I don't think something like that could ever happen again. Uh, and that was right before the pandemic? Yeah. This was like 2019. Okay. Hisuian Besculin. Okay, Puchiana, Glamio, Yanma, Sweenub, Sweet Honey, Reverse Hollow, Togekiss. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I really like that. The hollow with the color of Togekiss. Huh. So, yeah, that's my story on one of the crazy events for when I was uh, just starting off actually collecting. That was probably only a couple months in after Hidden Fates was released. Okay, Eevee, Heracross, ooh, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Leafeon is our non hollow rare. Cool. So we got how many? Is that nine hits? So we need what three hits in these last how many packs is it? Seven? No. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. We can probably get one, maybe two. Okay, let's see what we got here. Togius, Chatot, Magnemite, Sneasel, Teddy Ursa, Silene. And Regirock, non-hollow rare. 
Alright, so do you guys have any crazy stories you'd like to share? You can leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear some of yours from your collecting experiences. Ralts, Puchiana's Reverse Hollow, and Oranguru. Okay, so we need... I mean, this is the minimum that you would get in 36 packs, I think. That's This is like the lower average. Pet Petalil, Bergamite, Hippopotas, Cyndaquil. Ooh. <laughs> Three Obama Snows. Huh. And a Glaceon. That's funny right there. Three of them. One more and you get a playset. I don't know if anybody actually uses a bomb of snow in, in tournaments. Okay, Bergmite, Rufflet, Ponyta, Chatot, Bronzor, Togetic, and nice. Cleaver V, we got a hit. Okay, so we've got a decent average. That's what, 12? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. We got three more packs. So if we get one more, that is above average for sure. Okay, Bronzor, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, Cricketot, Stantler, <laughs> Frostmoth, nice. And Shaman as our rare. Nice. Okay, last two packs. Alright, here we go. Are you guys uh, planning on picking up any of these cards? Um, they're all going to be listed available on my TCG player account. If not there, they'll be on eBay for sure. All the info should be in the description below. There's Barboach and Regigigas, Hollow Rare. Yeah, I'll uh, have all these listed up by the time you see the video. And here is our last pack for today's video. Let's hope for that last pack magic and try to pull something crazy. That'd be nice. Still trying to get that uh, Machamp and Starmie V. Let's see if we can pull one of those here. <laughs> Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Hisuian Voltorb, Hisuian Basculine, oh, Featherball, and our last card is a Shaman Rare, non hollow. Okay, let's go over our hits. See what we got. Here are our hollow rares, and here are our hits. So we got Cleaver V, Oranguru V, Shadow Rider Calyrex V, Hisuian Samurai V, Luxray, Werdeer, Frostmoth from the Trainer Gallery, Hisuian Lilligant, Origin Form Palkia V, Darkrai V Star. Uh, last year, not last year, it was two years now, it was the Darkrai V Star collection box from Walmart. This was the card um, that came in the box. Uh, I thought it was a promo, but it was a Dark Rye V and a Dark Rye V Star um, cards that came in the box, the collection box. So it wasn't too bad. It was, what, 20 bucks. 
and I think it was like eight packs at the time. So that was a really good deal. And I probably bought maybe about 10 boxes or so. Because that was a really good deal. Um, especially since it had Dark Rai V and Dark Rai V Star Ultra Rares there in the box. And they, these sell for a couple dollars each. So since I did sell cards online, it was a really good value. Okay, Dark Rai V Star and our Obama Snow. Our other Obama still, and our last one. So we got three of these in 36 packs. That's funny. Okay, uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. I will be opening more packs in the upcoming weeks. Uh, yeah, there should be a poll that I'll have <coughs> on the community chat. Um, you guys can go ahead and vote there on what, which set you would want me to open. I think I'll list maybe four of the sets I do have available. I don't have that many, but I do have a lot of packs. All right. <laughs> this video has been going on for about half an hour now. Thanks for uh, sticking around and watching all the way through the end. If you do get this far. All right. Um, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.